everybody, welcome to Luna Kava Kava. In my YouTube channel, we'll talk about natural remedies for common ailments such as rashes, headaches, sleeplessness, and stomach aches, natural or homemade products for your self-care routine, and other topics related to living a frugal but sustainable lifestyle. This channel will also show different do-it-yourself hacks and tricks and tell you about key ingredients to look for in your favorite brands and products. To learn more about cost-efficient health tips, ideas on how to create a sustainable and environmentally friendly household, or stay in the loop about common household items and brands that promote sustainability, make sure to click that subscribe button. There are a variety of products you can purchase in stores to keep the skin on your feet healthy. You can also make your own homemade remedies which are less expensive and are made of natural ingredients. These remedies can also lower your carbon footprint and plastic consumption. Let's go over some quick and easy recipes for do-it-yourself foot care. White vinegar. Mix one part white vinegar and two parts warm water into a basin that can fit your feet comfortably. Soak your feet in the mixture for 10 to 30 minutes. This soak will soften skin and remove dead skin cells leaving your feet and toenails refreshed. You can also include a few drops of tea tree oil and juice from half a lemon or lime. The tea tree oil will freshen up your toenails, making them look healthier. For persistent problems with your toenails, add hydrogen peroxide to the soak. White vinegar is mostly known as an ingredient for salad dressings and pickling various foods. As it has antimicrobial and disinfecting properties, you can use this in different ways in the household, such as cleaning surfaces. Apple Cider Vinegar You may also use apple cider vinegar in place of white vinegar if you can tolerate its unique smell. Otherwise, you can add a few drops of your favorite essential oils or lemon juice to mask it. It can also be used as a foot deodorizer. Apply diluted apple cider vinegar to a cotton pad, a washcloth, or to a spray bottle. Apply the diluted ACV to your feet after washing. Your feet will stay fresh longer. This works as apple cider vinegar has antimicrobial and antifungal characteristics. Baking soda. Mix half a cup of baking soda with water in a basin and soak your feet in the mixture for 30 to 45 minutes. Add your favorite essential oil or rose water for that spa-like feel. You can also make a baking soda and vinegar soak by combining one half part baking soda, one part vinegar, and two parts warm water, add several drops of olive oil. You may even add your favorite essential oil. Soak your feet in the mixture for 10 to 30 minutes. For the best results, regularly immerse your feet in any of the homemade food soaks I just mentioned. Baking soda helps get rid of fungus and soothes skin irritation. For soft feet and healthy toenails, keep your feet dry. To disinfect and deodorize your socks, wash these with half a cup of baking soda and half a cup of vinegar. Tea tree essential oil and lavender essential oil. Tea tree and lavender essential oils are antiseptic, antibacterial, and antifungal. They have antioxidants and they treat skin blemishes, inflammation, and insect bites. Tea tree oil is an antiseptic that also restores split and discolored nails. Add tea tree and lavender essential oils directly to your feet, either on their own or as a mixture. Add tea tree oil to your favorite foot soak or apply it directly to your toenails after washing. Regular use will promote healthy toenail growth. Coconut oil. Apply a generous layer of coconut oil to your feet after washing. Then wear clean cotton or moisturizing socks over them overnight. Wipe the oil clean from your feet the following morning. Apply coconut oil daily if needed. You will see softer skin and healthier toenails with regular use. Coconut oil is a fungicide that targets toenail fungus and repairs toenails. Pumice stone. Pumice stones should be used on wet skin to avoid bruising and creating wounds. Scrub a pumice rock in a circular motion onto dry skin in the shower daily to exfoliate dead skin. Epsom Salt Scrub Mix a handful of Epsom salt and coconut oil into a scrub, then use this to scrub your feet in the shower. Or, make an Epsom salt soak by mixing half a cup of Epsom salt with warm water in a deep basin. Soak your feet in the basin for 30 to 45 minutes. Use the Epsom salt soak or salt scrub weekly with a pumice stone to see best results. Petroleum Jelly 
Apply a thick layer of petroleum jelly on washed feet, then put on a pair of breathable cotton socks or moisturizing socks. Leave the socks on overnight. Doing this regularly will leave your feet feeling soft and smooth. Hydrogen Peroxide Antiseptic Add several capfuls of hydrogen peroxide to your favorite foot soak or use hydrogen peroxide to brush your toenails. This can be applied to the affected area with a cotton swab or a washcloth. Hydrogen peroxide eliminates bacteria, removes dead skin, and fights fungus. Fix Vaporub Apply Fix Vaporub daily to your toenails. This helps in treating toenail discoloration due to fungus. There are also other ways of improving foot and nail health that involve making simple lifestyle changes for those that do not have the time to try out the recipes I mentioned earlier. Nail Polish Frequently using nail polish will give your nails a yellowish tint due to how the colorant and the nail plate react to each other. To keep your nails pink and or improve their appearance, give your nails a few days to be polish free before painting your nails again. Eating well and drinking water. Having a balanced diet and drinking water is essential for your well-being. Add more fresh fruits, vegetables, and nuts to your diet and make sure to eat the rainbow daily. This means eating foods with assorted colors as a particular nutrient or vitamin is usually associated with each color. If you want to focus on strengthening your digestive system, add ginger, garlic, onion, pineapple, lime, and baking soda to your diet. In addition, start by cleaning and moisturizing your feet daily, along with wearing clean socks. These are best done before bedtime. If you have sensitive skin, use a moisturizer formulated for sensitive skin. Soak feet regularly with your favorite homemade soak recipe. If you use a foot spray, make sure to let it dry completely before slipping on your favorite pair of footwear. Make sure you wear proper footwear and take breaks when standing for prolonged periods of time. Avoid walking barefoot in moist areas such as the locker room or poolside and on exercise mats when possible. If you must share yoga or exercise mats with others, Make sure to disinfect them before and after each use. If you go to a nail spa, make sure they sanitize and clean the tools thoroughly in between clients. Once you're treated an infection, make sure you sanitize your used footwear thoroughly. Always keep feet dry and change to dry socks if needed to prevent the occurrence of athlete's foot, cracked heels, or toenail fungus. Change socks and shoes frequently. Allow shoes to air dry after every use. Sprinkle baking soda on shoes to deodorize. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future content. While you're here, check out this playlist of my top 10 videos of eco-friendly gifts. Drink water and get plenty of sleep. See you in the next video. Take care everybody.